Let's dive into the compound dye liquidity event, how it impacts us at Mainframe, and my expectations on a timeline to launch. So first, the dye liquidity event. On Thanksgiving morning, dye traded as high as $1.30 on Coinbase Pro. Compound relies on Coinbase as a price feed for helping keeping itself over collateralized. The Compound protocol performed exactly as designed and kept itself over collateralized. But what was surprising for users is the fact that the DAI peg could be manipulated on America's largest exchange for a period of time that would cause upwards of 85 million DAI in liquidations. Now, while that's a large number, of the 200 plus thousand addresses that could have been affected, only 194 were actually impacted. But nonetheless, this was a surprise to many users and user expectations are something worth paying attention to. So what does this mean for Mainframe? Well, let's take a look at the recommendations that Robert Leshner made in his write-up on the event. Robert says, broadly, potential changes could include modifying the DAI market parameters, including the borrowing cap, modifying the DAI price feed by either tightening the anchor bounds or capping the price to something like a dollar and five cents, or removing the reporter and relying entirely on Uniswap in some or all cases. When we look at these different recommendations, it's important to consider the trade-offs that come along with them. Arbitrarily dictating that DAI will never trade outside of a bounds of 5% can have a negative impact if in fact DAI does trade outside of the window of 5% that you set. This can cause the protocol to become under collateralized and is very undesirable. This experience has informed us around the decision of which collateral type we're going to use and which target asset we will use. So at launch, we'll use wrapped Bitcoin as our collateral type and a more liquid USDC with respect to DAI. So our debts will settle to USDC and we have a much lower probability of something similar happening within our system without the need for huge architectural changes or swapping out oracles. Now, we want to support many different collateral types and various target asset types. And so in version two, we'll implement a more robust price feed and oracle system so that we can expand ourselves beyond just the assets that Coinbase Pro supports itself. Finally, let's talk about my expectations on when I think we're gonna launch. Now, if I were a betting man, which I am, I would never bet on when software development projects are going to actually launch. There are too many variables at play that can push things back and that you absolutely don't want pressure of an arbitrary deadline to have you tripping across the finish line, especially when you're dealing with programmable money. So our goal was to have this out the door by the end of the year. And I expect that we're gonna be pretty close to that. So if you set your expectations around having it out the door by, let's say, January, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised.